What's up? My name is Gabo, and today I'm going to show you a guide of how to boost FPS in the game. Click on the search box and type in Edit Power Plan. Click on Edit Power Plan. Then here, click on Power Options. And then select Ultimate Performance Mode, if it's available as an option on this list. If you don't find the Ultimate Performance Mode on the list, then please follow further instruction. Click on the search box and type in CMD. Right click on Command Prompt and run as Administrator. And copy the text from the description. Paste it here and click on Enter. And now the Ultimate Performance Mode has become available. Refresh the page and activate Performance Mode. Close Window. Click on the search box and type in Game Mode Settings. Click on Game Mode Settings. Then activate the Game Mode. By doing this, you optimize windows to the game. Click on the search box and type in Storage. Click on Storage Settings. Here you can remove any unnecessary junk files. Select Cleanup Recommendation. Select Unnecessary Files here. Then click on the Cleanup button. And then Continue. If it's ready, you can close the window. Click on the search box and type in percent sign T E M P percent sign. Click on folder. Select all files in the folder. Press Control plus A. Right click and then delete. After that, close the window. Right click and then delete. Click on the search box and type in Device Manager. Here you have to click on Device Manager. After that, click on Display Adapters. Then choose your specific graphics card, right click and choose Update Driver. Here you have to click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Then click on Close and close the windows. This method is not always sufficient. If the problem hasn't been solved yet, download the latest driver from the internet. Open a web browser and type in the model of your graphics card. But in the description you can find the links to download drivers for all sorts of video cards. And download the driver. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'll click here. Here, you have to click on the Download Now button and wait until it downloads. The download has been finished, then start the installer. Click on the Agree and Install button. Log in to the NVIDIA app, then click on the Drivers, and click on Search for Software Updates. If the software finds any updates, then download it. After that, close the NVIDIA application and restart your computer to try to start the game. Now if that didn't work, click on the search box and type in Graphics Settings. Click on Graphics Settings. Search your games in the list. If you can't find the game you're looking for, then use the Browse button to add the startup file of the game. I created a file called Game for this video, don't let it confuse you. 
choose the game and click on the Options button, and select High Performance Mode, and then Save. And now, you can close the window. Right-click on the desktop, and then if you're running Windows 11, click on Show More Options. Open the control panel of your graphics card. Mine is an NVIDIA card. Click on Manage 3D Settings. Then copy the settings of my graphics card. At Rendering CPU, set your graphics card to In Use. Set the Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance. Set the Texture Filtering to High Performance. And then set Vertical Sync on Off. Then copy the further settings and click the Apply button. After that, close the window. Now I'll show you the settings for AMD. Right-click on the desktop and open the control panel of AMD. Then copy my settings. If you have an Intel graphics card, set the setting on Performance Mode. Click on the search box and type in MSC. Click on the System Configuration, then on Boot, then the Advanced Settings option. Tick in the number of processors, and then set it to the highest possible number. In my case, it's 8, and OK. Then click on Apply. Finally, close all the open windows. Click on the search box and type in Performance. Click on Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Choose the Adjust for Best Performance mode. This will decrease the resolution of Windows appearance. Click on Apply and then hit OK. And restart your computer.